Hey, what's going on guys? Krosama here. And today we're taking a look at what I consider the best of the original five boy band mobile suits. This is the high grade after colony Gundam Heavy Arms. Let's go ahead and take a look. And this video is sponsored by NewTypeHQ.com. If you want to pick up this kit or supplies and some tools, you can go ahead and put in that slash Krosama so that way you can get 10% off your first purchase. So on to the review. So this box I think looks fantastic. I know pretty much all the new wing stuff has been looking really good in terms of like the box art, but I've always just loved this because it has all like the missiles, the Gatlings uh, on the chest just rolling out. It looks good, you get the, the smoke and the heat from the Gatling gun on the arm. It looks great, it's one of my favorites. Then on the sides where you're gonna get some of those nice little poses and you're gonna see all the different accessories gonna come with. And also you're gonna see what it's gonna look like if you put a little bit of paint to it. So obviously this kid's gonna come sticker heavy, but if you just substitute the stickers with some paint and then paint some of the other like gray parts, you'll see like on the sides, it's gonna look pretty good. All right guys, let's talk details. So the first thing I'm gonna do is address all the people on social media that's saying this kit right here this particular kit is worse than the kit that came out 20 years ago in like the no gray 10144 line or the high grade 10140 line him and tell me there's a god yeah th th there's no way that that's better than this this is a very very good looking heavy arms gundam it's fantastic it has like all the great panel lines it has great details um has a lot of good parts that are separated but some parts are not separated and that is the unfortunate thing is that not everything on this kit is really going to be part separated much like the chest the chest is not going to have the blue pieces it's going to be a sticker which looks ugly um you're going to have just like other little colors on like the the legs it's not going to look that great and i admit that i concede but it just requires a little bit of work. That's why Gundam Markers exist. Gundam Markers is kind of like, obviously the introductory into like full paint, uh, full painting, but even for some people like myself, or uh, I think it's like uh, Gundam uh, Bunker, I want to say his name is, is a Korean YouTuber. He does a lot of his work, which looks phenomenal, but just using like pastels and Gundam Markers, you can do a lot of great work with bare minimum tools. So, I do recommend you getting a gun marker, getting some panel line pins, and just do a little bit of work. And I'm telling you, whenever you do that, you make this kit pop a little bit more, give it a little top coat, you're gonna have a greater appreciation for this particular kit. Um, I, I just, I think it needs a little bit of work. Now let's talk gimmicks. Uh, so for this, gimmicks is basically just going to be the weapons, not the main weapon, not the Gatling gun, but everything else around it. So for the most part, you are going to have the chest. It's going to open up. That's going to look good. It's going to look solid. It's going to have the Gatling guns on the inside. Um, probably the inside of the actual hatches don't look that great, but look, a little bit of putty, a little bit of paint, it's going to look good. And next, you can actually open up the side missile compartments, and it's going to expose the missiles. They look great. Unfortunately, each individual missile is not going to be separated, but on the inside, I mean, you got the whole gray part, and you can easily mask that, and then just paint the missile pods themselves. And next, you're going to have the legs that's going to open up, and it's going to show all the little missiles on the legs, and that's going to look great. Those are very easy to paint. You just put essentially like a little drop, like get a get a nice like fine tip paintbrush and just drop like a white or a red right on top of that, so that way you can paint the individual missiles, and it's going to look good. But in terms of gimmicks, that's pretty much it for this. There's there's not much going on. This is a one trick pony, but it does that trick especially well. Now before we get into the weapons, let's get into the articulation. Head is gonna be on a dual ball joint, shoulder is gonna be on a ball joint, and the inside can actually move out just a bit, but it's not that significant. Shoulder can move up and down, bicep swivel, two points of articulation for the elbow, ball joint for the hand, waist can move back and forth, a little bit of an ab crunch, front skirts can move up, side skirts can move around. Now here's where it actually gets really good. This back skirt can actually move up, which for most high grades, the back skirt never moves out. And this can not only move up, but it can also move forward because it's gonna be on like a little hinge. And that's great. I mean, even more of an ab crunch. Hips can actually sway back and forth. They're gonna be on the polycap peg system so they can move forward and all around. Hip swivel, two points of articulation for the knee. The ankle can move back and forth. Ankle armor is gonna be on a ball joint. The foot is gonna be on a ball joint. 
And then the foot can also point up and point down. So look, in summary, the articulation on this is just great. You cannot deny it. Honestly, this is one of the best high grades in terms of articulation that we've had in kind of more of a, I would say background line. Like this isn't something that's in the focal front of Bandai's like, hey, look at look at these great gimmicks and all that. This is something that just comes out like the Sand Rock. It wasn't like super hyped, it was just there. But the Sandrock did a lot of good stuff as well, and in fact, a lot of those parts, the wing frame parts, is carried over from the 2019 frame to this one as well. So for accessories, all you're gonna have is two fists that you can actually put like different weapons or handles into it, and you're also gonna have two open hands. Now for your weapons, you are gonna have the beam gatling with the shield attached. It looks great, I mean, this is just perfect. Um, I, I really just like it. You got the handle. You can flip the handle out and then attach that into the other hand. So that way he can just, you know, create a little bit more stability whenever he's firing his weapon. Um, you can also take it off and put it onto the backpack. It looks great. Uh, just obviously you're going to take the hand off whenever you're putting the Gatling on and off. That's understandable, but it's really great. It's a good looking weapon and very simplistic. Now he's also going to have the army knife, which can rotate back and forth. And it was funny, I was talking to Discord about like why does he actually have the knife? It's too short, it's useless, the direction. It's It makes a little bit of sense because although this is the heaviest of the five mobile suits, it seems to be one of the most agile of the mobile suits. Uh, it can kind of flip and do a lot of different like twirls. Uh, even in the series, it does a kind of weird spinning blade attack. It's a little bit weird, but yeah, it, it was just something that was a... Uh, an item that he can use for melee combat and that's all it really is is a weapon for melee combat now for comparisons it is a very small high grade because most of everything in the wing series is actually really really tiny so uh comparisons next to the uc it's going to be a little bit shorter uh comparisons next to the master grades it's going to be pretty short uh it looks good though i mean even though it's a tiny kit Look, I've seen great things done with very small scaling, you know, either miniatures or uh, model kits. Y you just got to put in some work. So I wouldn't say let the size kind of like deter you from getting it unless you're like you really just kind of like a, a master grade enthusiast. Understandable. I wouldn't hold my breath for this particular um, kit to get a master grade release, at least not anytime soon. So you may just be better off getting the EW, if not get a resin or, you know, garage kit or something like that uh but this is a tiny boy but a good boy now for my final thoughts honestly this is a great great looking high grade i've been just nothing but happy doing poses with it um and it's really surprising that people thought it can't pose because all like most of the promotional stuff has been very stagnant or default kind of poses so doing some things that are more agile things that are a little more dynamic that you wouldn't see in the show um, I think that brings out this kid's personality just a little bit more so I would hope that if you are trying to like figure out how to pose this kit hey take a little bit uh, of a page from this you know video and, and try and apply it to your own kit if not hey just experiment with it look at other types of you know mobile suits and their poses and essentially just mimic them but for my final thoughts it's it's great. It's a very cheap high grade, roughly around like 15 bucks. Um, not really too expensive whatsoever. It's retail. It's going to sell very well in the West. I don't think it's going to sell that well here because I still see a lot of sand rocks around. And I still see other wing high grade kits kind of just flowing around. So in Japan, maybe most of Asia, it's not going to sell like crazy. So you, you can hold off on it and get it a little bit later. But for the most part, uh, this is definitely going to be a really good kit. It is, in fact, a kit to cop. So I would recommend copying it and adding it to your collection, add it to your shelf, and maybe do a little bit of work. Test out your painting skills because destroying a $15 kit because you want to do some experimental like painting stuff, it, it, it's not going to be that bad. So they... That's all I really got for you guys. I hope you got some good information from this video. I certainly had a better appreciation, even though I've pretty much messed with it uh, for the past like week. I've grown to love it even more. So that's it for me. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. And if you did like this video, then leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. And let me know in the comment section below if you're going to pick up this kit or maybe something else. But I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.